Kia ora team, my name's Ben and we've talked about the sympathetic nervous system response to decreasing blood pressure. Now let's talk about RAS and antidiuretic hormone. So our problem is our blood pressure is dropping. What is our body going to do? One of the systems is called RAS, which stands for renin angiotensin aldosterone system. And the other one is the release of antidiuretic hormone. Starting with RAS, the things that stimulate our RAS is decreased renal perfusion, less blood flowing into the kidney is going to stimulate a response. Also, if our blood pressure is dropping, our sympathetic nervous system is going to directly send a message to our juxtaglomerular cells of our kidney. So juxta means sit beside, like juxtapose, lay things beside, and then glomerular because the glomerulus is the start of the filter in the kidney. Our juxtaglomerular cells sit beside the glomerulus in the kidney, so they're in a good position to sense uh, what's happening with the blood pressure. And the last thing is decreased solute concentration in the distal convoluted tubule of the kidney. So if we've got less solute in our distal convoluted tubule, that means our urine is quite dilute and it's weak, so watery. The body's going to want to draw fluid out back into circulation. So these three things are going to stimulate the RAS, so those juxtaglomerular cells will release renin. Here we go. Renin then converts angiotensinogen, which is floating around in the bloodstream and is created by the liver, that gets converted into angiotensin 1. Then we've got this thing called ACE, which is angiotensin converting enzyme, and that converts our angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. ACE, or angiotensin converting enzyme, is released from our endothelial cells. Um, mostly from the endothelial cells in our lung. So when we have in angiotensin 2, this is where the magic happens. Its job is, number one, it's going to cause vasoconstriction of our arterioles. So if we remember our blood pressure equation, blood pressure equals cardiac output times total peripheral resistance. If we have vasoconstriction, that's going to increase our total peripheral resistance. So therefore, more squeeze, more blood pressure. So we're winning already. Next up, angiotensin 2 is going to stimulate our burst center and our hypothalamus. If we drink more, that's going to increase our blood volume, which is going to increase our blood pressure. Next up is angiotensin 2 causes the release of aldosterone from our adrenal which then travels back into the kidney and aldosterone's job is to increase sodium reabsorption from our distal convoluted tubule in our kidneys. So this is a good thing because if we draw our sodium out of our nephron, out of our kidneys and back in circulation, if you remember osmosis, fluid follows solute, fluid is going to come out of the kidneys and back into circulation. So maintaining our blood volume and helping our blood pressure. Lovely. Then the last thing that our angiotensin 2 does is stimulate antidiuretic hormone, which is also known as vasopressin. Exactly the same thing, just has two names. And these names are really good because they tell us exactly what's going on. Diuretic means to urinate, to pee. So antidiuretic is to, to stop the process of making more urine. So that's going to be one of the roles of ADH. And then the other name of ADH is vasopressin. So vaso, blood vessel, pressin, pressure tension. So this is going to cause vasoconstriction. So the same thing again, if we increase total proof of resistance, we're going to increase blood pressure. What stimulates the release of ADH? There's our RAS, so this system we talked about here that led to angiotensin 2 causing antidiuretic hormone to be released. 
And also, we've got another way of releasing it, which we have osmoreceptors in our hypothalamus, and they sense increased osmolarity, which means if the blood is more concentrated, less fluid, more solute, it stimulates our hypothalamus to cause the release of ADH from our posterior pituitary. And then the action of ADH, we talked about vasoconstriction, and it also increases water reabsorption from our collecting ducts in our nephron, in our kidney. So this is our RAS, an antidiuretic hormone, and how it turns low blood pressure and compensates to restore our blood pressure. Um, if anyone's ever drunk a little bit too much alcohol and they feel a bit dusty the next day and they feel maybe I've peed more than normal, well that's because alcohol inhibits antidiuretic hormone. So if it inhibits antidiuretic, it turns us into a diuretic machine. So we make more urine. Cool story. All right. Happy studying, team.